Hello, in this new video, I will be showing you something that a student that follows me um, uh, on TikTok at Tinker or Learn to Tinker, the number two, right? Learn, no, number two, Tinker. They asked me to make a tutorial on this particular video because it has the word Jeep on one side and then the other, when you turn it uh, 90 degrees, it actually is the image of a Jeep on the other side. And I'm gonna call this word art. So I'm gonna make a video on that and I'm gonna try to make this in under six minutes. So um, I'm gonna put up a timer here. I'm gonna put six minute timer and it started. Let's get started. So click new 3D design and I'm gonna start with the word heart. When you're doing this, you're gonna to wanna to put the individual words of whatever you're making. I'm gonna duplicate it and then move it over to make the letter E. And uh, we're gonna separate these letters later. Another thing you should be aware of is that you should uh, make them all capitals. It just sticks better together when they are capital letters. I've seen students try it with lowercase and other things that we've done, and it just never works. But hey, I hate when I do that. Uh, they like to try it on their own and not listen to someone as awesome as, as myself. I don't know why. Anyways, let's move this to the center and let's zoom in. We're gonna try to move these. The letter E and the letter H are already touching right there and right there. That's great. The letter A is touching right there, the letter, letter R. Okay, that's not bad. I'm gonna change my settings here to a point one so I can move it just a little bit more. That's solid right there, that's a little bit better. And I think I'm gonna connect with the T on the top. Okay, what I want is a, is a secure bond. Okay, heart, there you go. I'm gonna group this. I'm gonna hit control G, I believe. Yep. Great, I'm gonna make this a height of 20. Sorry, uh, yeah, I guess height. And I'm gonna make this uh, 60. Very important numbers because we're gonna use these numbers later on to uh, make our image. Okay, so there we go. Now, did I group these? Okay, control G, there. Uh, yeah, that's all one thing. I think, yeah, that's all one thing. Okay, now let's, we're gonna find an image of a heart and I'm gonna type in black heart silhouette. Very important that it's black and it's a silhouette. Pay attention how it's spelled, S-I-L-H-O-U-E-T. I'm sure it's gonna be in the description below. I'm looking for one that does not have any extra letters because it saves me some time. I'm gonna save this, save image as. I'm gonna put in the word six, heart, save. Now I'm gonna to go to the online-convert.com. I'm gonna go down here to the bottom corner and I'm gonna type in SVG. An SVG file is a file that Tinkercad will actually import. There's the number six, heart, open and start. And where is it? Oh, okay, it's gonna download here. It's gonna ask me where I wanna save it. I'm gonna save it the same exact spot as it was before where I got it. Now I'm gonna import this, choose a file. And of course I want the heart SVG, it's right there. And right now it says 600, that's huge. I don't want 600 millimeters. I'll just start with 100 and this automatically switches to match it. All right, that's still too huge, but let's go ahead and work with this. Okay, I'm gonna want this, I, I moved it so it'll be standing up. Well, I didn't move it enough, it's falling over, of course, very symbolic of my own heart, falls over all the time. And I'm gonna make this a thickness of, who remembers, who remembers, anyone? Correct, 20. Now, what we wanna do is we want to make this into 60, but I'm gonna hit shift, I'm gonna hold the shift button and move this down so that I can see Actually, I'm gonna move this one here, just so I can see the numbers. I want it to be 60 because that's what I made the other, the width right there. That's close enough. At this point, I'm just gonna make, uh, type in 60. And then I'm gonna change this back to 20, just cause I need it to be a certain thickness. And the height, what did we get as a height? Let's make that 55, just so that it's rounded. It didn't really change the shape much, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but this one is, is actually underneath the bed. So I'm gonna click the letter D, move it up. All right. So now let's move, we have this at 20, this at 60. Is this one at 60? Let's make, yeah, good, they match. Now the height is gonna match the heart over here. So let's make that at 55. 
These two should match now. Okay, great. Now we need a third object, and that's a box. We need to match the numbers. This one was 60. This one was 55, if you remember correctly. And now the hard part. Actually, it's not hard. We're going to change the heart to make it transparent. And we're going to make these two line up by clicking the Align button. I just clicked the letter L. It's a shortcut. And I'm going to look at it. And pretty soon, there should be a hole uh, that looks at this like a heart. Yep, this box is missing its heart, kind of like me. So now that I finished that, I'm going to change this. I'm going to align these two. Again, click the letter L. There it is, and there it is. And now I'm going to select both of them. And I think we are done. Look at that heart and heart. And what time? We had 48 seconds left. <coughs> We did this under six seconds, pardon the cough. Under six seconds, we made the heart, and we made a heart. Now you're probably wondering, uh, Mr. Amparo, why did we make this video under six minutes, or at least this part, but yet there's still several minutes left on this video? That's because in the next uh, several minutes, I'm going to be showing you a few examples of things I'm going to do, some things so that this prints correctly and with minimal supports. I'm going to also show you how to make this personalized, but I wanted to give you the idea of how this works. That way you can play with it <coughs> and get the, the idea on your own, six minutes that you can go check out again, because who doesn't have six minutes? Mostly my students who are busy checking their phones when they think I'm not looking. However, these six minutes are required. So there you go. I will show you how to personalize it on the next section. So in this part of the video, I'm going to show you some other things that you need to consider when making um, your 3D art. First thing you want to consider is the image. Now, obviously, if you can tell here, this is the heart that we just made. This is a cat, right? So because it's a cat, the word here should be, you got it, cat. And it's attached there. It's attached from the letter C. Great. But here's the other thing. I'm sure you've already looked, but... What are these things? I think some of you guessed already. And if you looked over here, it's kind of hard to tell. Does it say fries? What else? What? It says friends, but it's kind of hard to tell. And that's what we're going to talk about. You need to consider at least two dimensions when you're making this. This one here and the view from above, that's the other dimension. Does it look like heart? Does it look like cat? Can you read friends? In this case, friends did not look very good. And this is what I did. First of all, when I did a search for friends, black silhouette, this is what I got. I'm gonna click on images and look, this is what I got. Now these are all really cool images, but here's the problem. Can you imagine 3D printing all those little details and then above it is the word friends? that would fall apart, it would break, it would not be presentable. <coughs> Excuse me. So I thought, what else uh, says the word friends? So my suggestion to you is to think of something that would symbolize something that only you and your friend would, would think, oh yeah, that's our little joke, our inside thing. I know with my wife, I thought, okay, her with her and her friends, they like to go shopping. So I thought, oh, I'll get a shopping bag. And then I saw the shopping bag option. I thought, oh, that's cool. Maybe I'll do that for my wife. But then I thought, can I imagine that being printed? And that would break so easily. So I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. I'm like, that one's cool. It's pretty big. But again, I don't want that to happen. So I'm like, no. Then I thought of this one girl about three or four years ago that said, Mr. Amparo, she's a fry friend. And I'm like, what's a fry friend? She said, well, the, she's a friend that I would share my fries with, and I don't like sharing my fries with anyone. So she called her her fry friend. Great. Fry friend it is. So this one looks like fries, but you see the white that makes it look like a fry? That part would come out as empty space when I converted it into a 3D object. And so it would need a lot of uh, supports and it would look fairly ugly and great chance of falling apart when there's a lot of white lines or a white space in between. So 
did not choose any of these. I wanted something solid. I chose this one at the end, but unfortunately, I don't really think it looks like fries. What do you think? Maybe you're okay with that. Now with cat, I found it pretty easy, right? I did a search for <clears throat> cat, cat, black silhouette. And I chose the first one, look good. I could have used this one, but I did not like the idea of printing this in midair. There's a good chance that it was gonna break off. So a thing, again, a thing that you have to consider is when it prints, what is it gonna look like? Now this one was also not bad because I liked that it was taller and the word cat is actually pretty short. So it was not a bad candidate, candidate right there. Right here, I did not want there to be any eyes in here. And if you are watching this right now, um, I'd like you to raise your hand and say that you once had a cat named Fido. Go ahead, first one that does that in my classroom will get a special reward. So for you, that's something you need to consider. What it's gonna look like, it should be a solid shape, not many lines in here, because then it's gonna add supports and it's gonna make things more complicated. It should be something that is obvious to you and the person you're giving it to. Now, maybe you wanna give this to your mom. Maybe instead of the word heart, you'll put your mom and heart. Now, some some kids, actually a lot of kids choose their mom as this thing and dads, if you're watching this, you might wanna step up your game because you're not getting much love from the kids. Just an FYI. Now, when I printed this, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I added something at the bottom because I thought, wait a minute, there's no way if I give this to someone, that it's ever gonna look like this because this, this would just fall over. So I thought, what would make it stand upright? I created a, uh, a little stand and I believe I made it match the width of this thing. Let me see if I can align this or these two. Letter L, align and align. Does that work? Is it good? Yeah, and then over here I put uh, three inches, that's not three inches, three millimeters high uh, like this, and of course, this is gonna be like five, but maybe even less than that. I put like, you know, I think I put the letter I. Oops. You could also put the person's name. It's up to you. And let's just move that over there. Oh my goodness, that is so slow. Okay, I'm gonna cheat, there it is. Or you could put you know, love or a special message, as long as, don't make it more than three millimeters high because this being two millimeters is gonna hold this up just right. But three meter, three millimeters, it's gonna look pretty good. If you start going higher than that, it's gonna start to break off pretty easily and you don't want that for your presentation. And now with a stand underneath it, this is fine. I would not have any issues with supports in, with the cat. Let me tell you why. Any supports that are underneath this, are not gonna get in the way of what it looks like, either from this angle, because you're just gonna look at it, it's gonna be pretty solid back here. And from this angle, all the supports are gonna be directly underneath the letters, so they are not gonna get in the way. Supports here would be fine. So two things that you have to consider. What is it gonna look like from the side? That's one. The other is, are supports gonna get in the way? And when you're choosing an image, try to make it a big solid object, No empty spaces in between because that's just going to make your object more complicated. Anyways, if you've been watching this, thank you for, for paying attention. And again, if you like this, then subscribe and, you know, find out when I'm putting out the next one because I'm going to try to make these a little more fun. If you hated this, send this to your friends. That way they can feel the pain and suffering that you just went through because that's what friends do. All right. So thanks again for subscribing and have a good day. Thank you.